Drones are affordable devices that can give you a bird's eye view of the area around you. In recent years, drones have become incredibly sophisticated, and due to their advanced tech, some companies are even using them during disasters. Back on the 19th of September 2021, the La Palma volcanic eruption began, with lava being observed flowing down the mountain and through the villages. The volcano was throwing out huge jets of lava and ash into the air, and officials ordered everyone to move out of the areas close to the volcano, with residents leaving behind schools, villages, homes and personal belongings. Over two months later and the volcano is still very active, with those in charge saying that all flights to and from the Spanish island of La Palma have been cancelled, and this is due to the massive amount of ash. It's not just people who've been at risk during this event though. The volcano eruption has had a big effect on nearby wildlife. One individual was flying their drone above areas that had been hit by lava when they spotted something on the ground. Thinking it may have been someone who was injured, they went in for a closer look. It turns out that it was a dog that had been cut off by lava from the La Palma volcano. Those in charge were notified and they soon put a plan in place. They announced that starving dogs that were surrounded by lava will be rescued via drones, with the operators saying that they plan to save them via drones with remote-controlled nets. They said that the issue here is that the dogs are on one side of the lava stream, and that they can't make it across to safety, so one of the safest ways to help them will be via these remote-controlled nets saying that once they're inside, they'll be able to fly them over the lava to safety. Officials in charge noted that at this moment in time, they need all the help they can get, and so gave permission to a Spanish drone operator to go in there and save the dogs. The drone user has been keeping a close eye on the dogs, and revealed that they have been watching three dogs that have been stranded for several weeks, saying that they've been staying close to an abandoned yard, Although they noted that ash and lava was coming in close, they said that the dogs were trying to keep their distance, but did note that they were close to the mountain. The drone user decided to take action, and was actively dropping down dog food via the drones. The two companies that provided the dog food were Ticom Solutions and Volcanic Life. At the time though, no one could figure out a way to save these dogs from the nearby lava, Drone users shared footage of the dogs laying on the ground, noting that for most of the day they were curled up close to a wall that was protecting them from the nearby ash. The drone operators did say though that they are aware, as every time they flew the drones overhead the dogs would look up. The companies that were packing the dog food said they were being assisted by veterinarians. Officials said that they were in a difficult situation, as helicopters are banned from flying over the area, noting that in the past rotors and other parts of the helicopters have been damaged by ash and lava. Emergency authorities said that after evaluating the situation, they decided that the only way to save these dogs would be via the use of drones, saying that an emergency meeting was made within a few hours, and it was decided that they would go forward with the rescue mission with them noting that this is the first time this has been allowed in Spain. Jamie Piera, CEO of drone operator Aero Cameras, said that he plans to send a huge 50 kilogram custom-made drone to the area, and that once there he will drop a wide net in order to capture the dogs one by one. He said that once they're inside the nets, he'll fly them over the lava and take them 500 meters away. Jamie Piera said the following, it's the first time an animal has been rescued with a drone, and the first time it has to be captured. If that's the last option that the dogs have, then we're going after them. End quote. Operating such a large drone means that it drains the batteries incredibly quickly, so Jamie said that he'll only have around four minutes to lure the dogs into the net, and another four minutes to fly them out to safety. He continued by saying the following, what we don't want is to run out of battery when flying over the lava. They've been eating very little for weeks. They might come or they might be scared of the drone. It really depends on their reaction. 
Jamie's been hailed as a hero by the locals, with users online saying that many people are focusing on humans, cars and homes, but hardly any attention has been on local wildlife and pets, with some saying that pets are so important to many people, and that they're part of the family. His efforts have been greatly appreciated. Officials have just announced that another river of lava has been hitting more houses on the island, and giant new fissures have opened up. The new fissures have sent lava towards the ocean, causing thousands more people to be evacuated. Miguel Angel, technical director of the Canary Islands Emergency Volcano Response Department, revealed that the volcano has been much more aggressive in the last few days. Earthquakes are also hitting the area, with one of the most recent ones being 3.5 in magnitude. The head of La Palma's council said the following, There is concern about the path of this new flow towards the sea, although it is expected to join up with the previous one within the next few hours. We have more drama to come, more people to take care of, End quote. Spokesperson David Calvo said the eruption of the volcano is still very strong, and that around 10,000 tons of sulfur dioxide was recorded on Monday. The United States Geological Survey has said that there's over 160 potentially active volcanoes in the US. Our history has been greatly affected by volcanic eruptions, with one of the most well-known ones being that of Mount Vesuvius. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted, destroying much of the city with volcanic debris, and covering it in 19 feet of ash. For centuries, the ruins of Pompeii laid undisturbed, and perfectly preserved by the thick blanket of ash. In the 1700s, the discovery of the once-hidden city was revealed to the world, it was completely frozen in time. There were perfectly preserved remains of people trying to find shelter from the eruption. Even bakeries still had fresh loaves of bread in the oven. Today, people's lives are still being shaped by volcanoes. Scientists have said that it's important that we monitor and study these natural wonders, saying that we can learn a lot from studying volcanoes. Sometimes, though, researchers are informed of a chilling encounter that happened due to volcanic activity. This was the case when a man in Hawaii had fallen down a lava tube. Hawaii's Volcano National Park Service said the following, As islands created by volcanoes, Hawaii is crisscrossed by countless lava tubes. These underground passageways, also known as pyrodugs, are created by lava flows themselves, and are capable of transporting great quantities of lava long distances underneath the surface. When the supply of lava stops at the end of an eruption, or if it gets diverted elsewhere, it leaves behind an empty cave. End quote. The 71-year-old man was cutting his trees at the time of the incident, with officials saying that he had fallen around 22 feet or 7 meters underground. Responding officers arrived at the scene at 8.30 and found the man underground. The Hawaii Police Department said the following, No foul play is suspected in this case. End quote. The man was taken to hospital, but unfortunately it was announced that he had passed away. According to Hawaii's National Park Service, they said that it can be hard to detect when these tubes form noting that they can be created within a matter of weeks, saying that this is why accidents happen, because people can be walking on one area of land and it can be fine one week, but fast forward a week later and a lava tube suddenly forms. National Park officials said the following, When a lava tube is active, lava travels along its floor at temperatures that exceed 2000 degrees, Winds of superheated fumes may pass through the tunnel, yet the only sound may be the constant soft hiss of the relentless flow. End quote. It's not just Hawaii where this has happened. Sulfur Tara is a volcanic crater that can be found in Italy, and as with anything like this, it attracts a large audience. This volcano is dormant, 
and hasn't been active in hundreds of years, but despite this the magma beneath it is still very hot. Back in September 2017, the family visited the region in order to take some photographs. However, the family's 11-year-old got too close to the crater, slipped and fell in. Officials said that due to the sulfuric fumes, he quickly lost consciousness and ended up passing away. The younger brother also slipped, but officials announced that he was able to get himself out. Back in March 2010, a man was visiting Mount Barta in Bali. The man was a Swedish tourist who'd hiked up the active volcano. However, when he reached the top, he'd lost his footing and fell in. Due to the height he'd climbed, it's announced that he fell over 150 meters, or 500 feet. The friend said that he'd passed away upon impact, and said that he'd gone up the volcano on his own during a morning walk. Unlike many of these stories, officials in the region said that the hike is extremely safe, and that many tourists had taken this path. They said this was just a freak accident. Residents in Los Llanos have just said they were sleeping for the night, when they were woken up by a loud rattling noise. They said they were sleeping just outside the exclusion zone in La Palma, saying that they had been forced out of their houses as they'd been engulfed by the lava. They are currently living in caravans, and have said they're worried as the lava is getting closer. One of the residents said the following, I'm in despair because I don't know what's going to happen to my house. We spent the last few nights staring at the volcano, trying to see what it was doing, but now it's kind of normal to have it there. End quote. Those living in these conditions though have said that they're thankful to be alive, and that they're trying to look at the positives. The United States Geological Survey said the following, the ongoing eruption at the summit began at 3.21 p.m. on September 29, 2021. Lava activity is currently confined within the crater. Gas emissions and seismic activity at the summit remain elevated. HVO field crews, equipped with specialized safety gear, monitor the eruption from within the national park, with NPS permission. HVO scientists collect detailed data to assess hazards and understand how the eruption is evolving at the summit, all of which are shared with the National Park Service and emergency managers. Access to this hazardous area is by permission from and in condition with Hawaii's Volcano National Park. Kilauea is the youngest and most active volcano in the island of Hawaii with a consistently active summit caldera that frequently hosts lava lake-style eruptions. Forecasting height and magma activity is key to assessing global volcanic hazards, including eruptions from lateral rift zones of volcanoes. At Kilauea Volcano, lava is repeatedly affecting the same segments. End quote. NASA have said that they found powerful geothermal features underneath Antarctica, and said this could help them to explain some of the strange activity that's been recorded in the region. Experts involved in the study said that measurements taken underneath Marie Birdland revealed that the area is as hot as the supervolcano in Yellowstone National Park, and this is causing ice to melt beneath the surface, leading to the creation of lakes and rivers. Interestingly, a researcher at the University of Colorado, Denver, suggested that an anomaly is lurking underneath Antarctica, but at the time there was not enough proof to back up these claims. Now, scientists have said that recent seismic images have confirmed geothermal activities. NASA have even spoken out about this and said they support this idea, saying the following, a geothermal heat source called a mantle plume lies deep below Antarctica's Marie Birdland, explaining some of the melting that creates lakes and rivers under the ice sheet. End quote. According to NASA though, this isn't anything new, and that these geothermal features have to be studied more, noting that recent activity around that area shows that ice collapses are happening due to the area heating up. 
Researchers have also said that they were surprised when they discovered that there were over 100 dormant volcanoes below the continent, which makes it the largest volcanic region in the world. The team said this discovery is important for science, because it not only helps us understand why certain things are playing out in Antarctica, but says that these geothermal features could have implications on the rest of the planet. If one of these were to erupt, it could further destabilize some of the region's ice sheets, with scientists saying that much of this area is already weakened due to global warming. Dr. Robert Bingham from Edinburgh University said the following, It's fascinating to uncover an extensive range of volcanoes in this relatively unexplored continent. Better understanding of volcanic activity could shed light on the impact on Antarctica's ice in the past, present and future, and on other rift systems around the world. If the ice sheets are reduced significantly, this could release pressure on the volcanoes that lie below, and lead to eruptions that could further destabilize the ice sheets, and enhance sea level rises that are already affecting our oceans. End quote. NASA continued with the following on their website. A new NASA study adds evidence that a geothermal heat source called a mantle plume lies deep below Antarctica's Marie Birdland, explaining some of the melting that creates lakes and rivers under the ice sheet. Although the heat source isn't new, it may help explain why the ice sheet collapsed rapidly in an early era of rapid climate change, and why it's so unstable today. The stability of an ice sheet is closely related to how much water lubricates it from below, allowing glaciers to slide more easily. Understanding the sources and future of the meltwater under West Antarctica is important for estimating the rate at which ice may be lost to the oceans in the future. Antarctica's bedrock is laced with rivers and lakes, the largest of which is the size of Lake Erie. Many lakes fill and drain rapidly, forcing the ice surface thousands of feet above them to rise and fall by as much as 20 feet, or 6 meters. The motion allows scientists to estimate where and how much water must exist at the base. Some 30 years ago, the scientists at the University of Colorado Denver suggested that heat from a mantle plume under Marie Birdland might explain regional volcanic activity in a topography dome feature. Very recent seismic imaging has supported this concept. End quote. One of NASA's most recent comments is that their seismic imaging has revealed that there may be a rift, or a fracture in the Earth's crust. They've said that they will be monitoring these changes. In fact, just recently in July of 2019, Scientists saw the uncovering of a lava lake on the remote Saunders Island, and despite there being approximately 1,500 volcanoes on Earth, Mount Michael on Saunders Islands is only the eighth in the world to be confirmed as having a lava lake. The discovery of the volcano was reported in the journal, Volcanology and Geothermal Research. This was the first volcano with a lava lake to have been identified in the remote series of South Sandwich Islands. This finding was made using satellite imagery. In 2001, low-resolution satellite data proved to have an anonymous result in it, but the low-resolution and limited data frame could not prove that there was a lava lake on Saunders Island. With more advanced technology capturing shots more frequently, and at a higher resolution, images collected between 2003 and 2018 have uncovered the lava lakes spanning 90 to 250 meters in diameter, with the lava hitting the scoring temperatures of 1,279 degrees Celsius. After the eruption within a matter of days or weeks, this liquid lava pool will dry into solid rock. This geological discovery is made all the more exciting by the inaccessible nature of Saunders Island. Very few researchers have visited this volcano, and none have ever reached the summit. Mount Michael is a fascinating, thrilling discovery, and without the high-resolution, high-quality satellite imagery, we perhaps never would have uncovered the world's eighth lava lake. Dr. Alex Burton Johnson, from the British Antarctic Survey, commented the following. 
We are delighted to have discovered such a remarkable geological feature in the British Overseas Territory. He elaborated, explaining that the increased understanding of the volcanic activity within Mount Michael had the potential to tell us about similar features elsewhere. Additionally, the discovery of Mount Michael proves we're able to monitor volcanoes from space. The development of space technology is incredible, and it's helped us unravel many mysteries. So what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.